Hi guys welcome to my YouTube channel. Before watching the video please subscribe to my YouTube channel. All you need to know before planning an epic Goa trip. Goa is a state in western India with coastlines stretching along the Arabian Sea. Its long history as a Portuguese colony prior to 1961 is evident in its preserved 17th century churches and the area's tropical spice plantations. Goa is also known for its beaches, ranging from popular stretches at Baga and Palalem to those in laid-back fishing villages such as Aganda. Goa is one of the most favorite destination among Indian tourists due to its pristine beaches. Every beach has its specialty, beauty, and serenity where tourists enjoy their best. Famous beaches in Goa, Baga, Kandalim, Kalangut, Mirjam, Arambal, and Yuna, etc. There are times in life when you feel a need to pack up the sunscreen and head to the beach, and in India, that road typically leads to Goa. If you're planning a trip to the Sunshine State, there are a few things you should know. Number 1. Not all beaches are equal. Goa's coastline stretches along the Arabian Sea but the quality of sand and nature of its water differs between the North and South Divide. Typically, beaches in South Goa, Kalva, Majorda, Varka, Kavalasim and Palalam, have calmer waters and beaches in North Goa, Arambal, Ashwam, Merjim and Vagator, have rougher seas. You might feel that Central Goa is a safe bet, but beaches in Bagar are where the crowds tend to concentrate and the water gets murky. We prefer Kalangut or even more south, the beaches of Kandalim which are less touristy. Number 2. Watch out for jellyfish. Jellyfish is, nice to see, painful to touch. Be aware that South Goa has a higher number of reported stings in comparison to the North. Don't let this put you off and keep in mind these few tips. Experts recommend to remove all jewelry before heading into the water as jellyfishes, much like us, are intrigued by pretty shiny things. If you really did get a sting, any further exposure to liquids could make the pain worse. Yes, never pee on the sting and instead take an antihistamine and head immediately to the closest hospital. Number 3. Do a safety check. Goa's beaches have seen a rise in the number of places that offer water sports like banana boating and parasailing. Despite shop owners' confidence, water sports equipment are not subjected to stringent quality checks. We are not suggesting that they aren't safe, but we do advise that you take extra precautions. How do the equipment look to you? More importantly, always insist on a life jacket no matter what sport you are doing. Number 4. Food and Fanny. Dining in Goa seems to be a sumptuous affair each time. You will be served with freshest of seafood and the most fragrant of curries but do take note that most things come with a side of fries. All of this will be washed down with fenny, the locally fermented liquor. There are two types of fenny, one made of cashew and the other of toddy palm. Both are strong liquor with an inevitable burn that follows. If you're wondering why the drinks come cheap, don't worry. It is because of state taxation that promotes tourism. Go on and enjoy. It is one of Goa's many gifts to us. Number 5. Beware of the red flags. High tide is generally marked by red flags, which indicate that swimming might be dangerous. Follow the signs and do not venture into the water after having too many tipples. While there are lifeguards on the more popular beaches, the swimmer to guard ratio is less than ideal and murky weather conditions can make visibility difficult. All we want to say is, play safe and you will be safe. Number 6. Your local guardians. The people of Goa are used to having tourists around and generally, they tend to be friendly, hospitable and willing to help. Go one, have a chat with them. Do ask them for local finds and secret gems. They are more than happy to point out a few tips on how best to enjoy the beautiful state of Goa. Number 7. Cash is king. On so many fronts, Goa is still catching up to the rest of the world and this applies to payments. Debit and credit cards are still not widely accepted, hence cash works best. Do have spare cash for food and souvenirs but as with everywhere else, do beware of pickpockets. Number 8. Cab it if you can. The taxi system in Goa is rather disorganized and taxi fares are mostly based on estimated distances, and mood of the driver. Taxis can be found in popular touristy spots and are generally safe for women and solo travelers. Try not to take a taxi when you have had too much to drink and don't get into one where you suspect that the driver might be drunk. Number 9. The real deal with secret raves. You may be surreptitiously invited to a secret rave party and while many of these are similar to those found in other parts of the world, some may be shams with fake addresses designed to lure over enthusiastic partygoers. 
Chances are, there will be drugs in circulation so police raids aren't unheard of, and the authorities might assume your presence equals participation. We always say, travel safe and you will enjoy your vacation. All said and done, Goa's beaches are well worth a trip any day. That glorious feeling of sand between your toes and the wind, we prefer a breeze, in your hair, and you're not far from paradise. Number 10. Carry Exact Change. If you buy something that costs 48 rupees, about 7 cents, but hand over a 50 rupee note, there's a good chance that you'll get your change back in the form of boiled sweets because there's no loose change behind the counter. The shopkeeper is legally bound to return change in full. You, on the other hand, are not legally bound to accept boiled sweets, more often than not they do actually have change, but it's a good idea to have plenty of your own just in case. Do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.